Okay, so we're going to look at some complex analysis. So we've got an integral here, e to the i pi z divided by z plus i with respect to z. And the parameters of integration is this gamma here. So we're saying that gamma is where the modulus of z minus i equals 2. So where shall we start? Well, let's first have a look at this uh, gamma here, which is our parameters of integration. So z minus i, let's try and draw that on a complex graph. So z minus i will have a centre point of i and a radius of 2, so it will reach out to 3i and minus i. So it will go, try and draw a circle if I can. Okay, so that's our gamma and it will always go in an anti-clockwise manner. So what we can say that this gamma here is a simple closed contour on the complex plane and the complex plane is uh, is simply connected region so this is something where we can use the Cauchy's integral formula so I'll just write that this here for us Cauchy's integral formula now when using Cauchy's integral formula you've got to be a little bit careful to get the conditions right so like I was just saying there that the complex plane is a simply connected region and this here is a simple closed contour. So that's one of the conditions for Cauchy's integral formula. If you haven't got that, then you can't proceed with Cauchy's integral formula. The next thing we see is we've got a singularity in this, one, this uh, integral here. So the singularity is at z equals minus 1. So the next thing we need to look for is the point minus one inside this uh, simple closed contour. So minus one is here, so it's going to be inside. So there's another condition for Cauchy's integral formula. So we can now sort of eliminate this and concentrate now on the numerator. So if we let f of z equal e to the i pi z do is this uh, function here analytic on the complex plane well the exponential function is continuous everywhere and we can differentiate it everywhere so this is analytic so analytic so we just give that a, a tick there so that's the last of the conditions really for Cauchy's integral formula so we don't need to do any integration now for this to get the answer to this integral all we do now is just plug in where the singularity is which is minus one because we know it's inside this uh, gamma here what we say is now that the integral across gamma of e to the i i z divided by z plus i dz equals 2 i i times f at minus 1. So this function at minus 1 multiplied to 2 pi i just gives us the answer to this integral. No integration at all. All we need to do is continue now and try and work that out. f of minus 1, so e to the i pi times minus 1. Okay, so now we've got 2 pi i times e to the minus i pi. Okay, 2 pi i, that's fine. e to the minus i pi. Now, if we look back to this, this circle here, let's just draw this down here instead. So the e to the minus i pi, it's basically e to the minus pi. So minus pi would go around here. So that's going to take us to this point here, which is minus 1. So all we've got to do now is multiply this by minus 1. So that will give us 2 pi i to the minus. And that is our answer to this integral here using Cauchy's integral formula.
following the set conditions that we explained at the beginning. Okay, so that is our answer. <laughs>